Hey everybody, we are teaching Gravity Sketch. And this time we're gonna look at the quick editing tools built into subdivide objects. What the heck are you talking about? Okay, let's show you. I'm gonna start with a very simple object. I'm actually gonna draw one of our regular cubes. There, nice little cube. And I'm gonna convert this cube into a subdivide object. So we have all of the control points. You can see we now have all the control points. And we can manipulate this guy any way we want. Changing faces, changing edges, changing points. Subdivide object. If we crank up the subdivide level, you can see it becomes a smooth round object, but still controlled by our control points. Subdivide. Okay, let's turn it down. Back to cube for just a moment. So much for our cube. But now that we've got it obeying the control points, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off completely. I'm going to go ahead and start looking at these extra tools built into your editor mode. So this only works when you're in edit mode. If I've just got regular objects, these tools don't show up. So I've got a cube. We go to edit, so we have the control points. Now your main controller hand, you'll notice your thumb has a little tool icon, hammer and paintbrush. If you press that trigger, it gives you these options. Let's turn it so you guys can see it. Smooth, edge cut, loop cut, crease, and merge. These are really useful tools, and they only show up when you're editing a subdivide object. Now you'll notice the loop cut is our standard round circle tool that we can use to grab and manipulate objects as normal. But another thing it does, if I touch the middle of any edge, you can see it puts a new line of control all the way around. If I do it from this edge, it gives me a whole new set of control points that I can use to manipulate my object, change its size, change its shape, that kind of thing. So a loop cut, if you have a solid shape, whether it's a surface or a cube like this, anytime you touch a line, it will make all the way around it a full loop cut. And now all of those control points can be used to manipulate and change and your shape your object. Loop cut your standard purple dot mode. So now here's my subdivide object, no longer the normal cube. And when I go to edit it, I've got lots of control points. Loop cut gives you a cut all the way around. If you only want to cut just one face, a set edge to edge, but not necessarily all the way around. That's what our edge cut, it looks sort of like a razor blade. Edge cut. Now I can go from any one edge and it gives me a control point. Touch. If you click not on the model, it ends your cut. And now you can see I've only cut that one face. That does not go all the way through. So I can now take my edge cut from here to here. And now I have a set of control points in the middle that I can manipulate on their own. I'm now going to cut, let's put that down a little bit, from this edge to that edge to that edge to that edge. Following it all the way down the line so I can manipulate it all the way down the line. So the razor blade edge cut from any point on any edge to any other point on any edge, and you can keep cutting those edges until you click off the model. And now these control points are all available to be used as you see fit. So loop cut goes all the way around. Edge cut just slices an edge. Loop cut, edge cut. 
for slicing your subdivided object into smaller pieces, more edges. Now, sometimes they'll start getting a little unruly, especially if you're doing it one at a time. They might not line up the way you want. They might start getting a little rough, a little bumpy. The smooth tool, the round guy, any line control point that's inside that circle will get evened out, smoothed in. So if I start pulling these into a jagged pattern, so they are not even, but now I use my smooth tool, you can see how they recede back, they fall back in, they smooth out those harsh lines. It does have the side effect of making your shape a little bit smaller because those corners and things are receding in, trying to round out, smooth down your object. So the control smooth is for bringing those points in, rounding out the object. If I've got the subdivision levels up, that smoothing is to soften corners, soften edges, bring it a little more uh, universally round instead of just lumpy kind of round. Smooth does just what it says on the tin. Smooth, edge cut, loop cut, crease. Crease is fun. You see how all of my edges are smooth and round, standard subdivide. Crease will sharpen that edge right up again. So I'm going to grab my crease tool, the red arrowhead, and as I get over the shape, you can see the outer control lines appear. If I click my arrow, see how it turns blue? Does it turn blue for you, I hope? Clicking on the actual control lines turns them blue, and you can see how it sharpens up that edge. I get a corner. Even though it's rounded from different directions, I've got that nice corner back. So instead of round on this side, I can crease the edge and resharpen that point. This is especially good for things like on the hood of a car where you have the ridge lines or over the fender of a car or on a spaceship. You want a nice sharp, uh, it's a bubble cockpit, but you want the sharp lines where the supports are. We could go into a smooth shape. Let's get a smooth edge on here for you and then crease those edges to add that fin to add that ridge to your shape. So with a subdivide object, in edit mode, crease the red arrow is how we can really bring up those sharp edges in a round object. Not bad. I'm now gonna add a second shape. Let's grab that guy, subdivide it, so I can do cool stuff with it. The last tool we have here is called Merge. And Merge is how you can actually combine separate pieces into one component. A better example than spheres and squares. I'm gonna keep him over here just cause he's cool. But now I'm gonna step back a bit and use my surface tool. I've got one lovely cape. And I'm gonna grab this tool and make it a subdivide object so I can subdivide it and do whatever I want with it. But then I make a different cape. And I grab him and I turn him into a subdivide object so I can manipulate him and do whatever I want. But really, I'd like to join these two into one long ribbon rather than two separate pieces. So I'm gonna get their edges close together. If you like and take the time, you can actually try to make the edges meet so I'm gonna grab this guy, go into edit mode, but I'm gonna kick in the snap. So now I can snap this guy, 
Let's turn on the world snap. Uh, smart move. Where's my world snap? Do -do -do, snap. But anyway, if I grab these guys and I'm editing them, I can try to make sure edges and things get as close as possible. Oops, a little too many there. But now when I go to my quick tools and choose merge, merge looks like a blue plus. So this is the one I'm editing. If I go over and touch this one with a blue, now I'm editing both. Now it is considered one piece. So if I go to edit it now, now I can actually bring these pieces into touching each other. Snap, as it were. Somebody down here is not snapping. Now it is one big seamless piece. So merge actually lets you combine separate pieces into one. Now what's important is if these pieces are on separate layers, merging them will combine them. The one you are editing first is the control. Anything else you merge will join that one's layer. And now they are one item on that one layer. So the quick tools, they only work when you're editing a subdivide object. Your controller hand brings up the menu. Smooth, edge, loop, crease, and merge. These are the tools that will give you even more control so you can really make the details the way you want. Crease edges to pop out, merge pieces together, all hidden under the thumb button in edit mode. I hope this helps. I hope this gives you some inspiration and some ideas to try. Let's get these close to the camera. I'm going to do my usual goodbye message for subscription because we have so much do fun doing these. We want to know if you guys are having fun watching them. So let us know in the comments. Let us know if you have questions or if there's something you'd like us to do an episode on. We thrive on your commentary. So let us know what you'd like to learn. I hope this was helpful. Have fun, everybody, and have fun with Gravity Sketch.